Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel, you know where to study, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon, so you will get the notification of all the new videos, but don't forget to like the video, in this video, as you know that we have started the Genome Wide Study series and this is the part 3 of that series. So in this video, we will try to find the Curie protein. The Curie protein is the protein sequence of that gene which was functionally characterized. Or usually we take the Curie protein of our model plant that is Arabidopsis. If you are working on the plant, then you take you can take the arabidopsis plants of that respective family as a uh, respective family genes as a curie protein or you can also take any other gene of that uh, studied protein family which uh, that gene that was functionally characterized whose function is experimentally proved the sequence of that gene you can also take as a curie protein for that protein gene family. If you are working in a, uh, insects or any other organism, then you have to take the sequences from your model uh, organism. But we are working on the plant, so mostly we take the Arabidopsis protein, protein sequences as a curie protein. Or we have to take the characterized gene or whose function is fun experimentally proved the protein sequence of that gene we also take as a curie protein to find out to dig out the respective gene family members of our own crop like in the previous lecture i i asked that we have selected the hma protein family in maize so to find out the HMA protein sequences from maize, I have to find out the, the HMA protein sequences in Arabidopsis. I have to take that HMA sequences of Arabidopsis or any other characterized protein sequence of that gene and then that sequences we will blast in uh, the genome of maize and then we have to take out the respective HMA protein sequences from our genome. So in this video we have to find that Curie protein then we have to extract the sequences of that Curie protein and then we have to confirm that this Curie protein is from that protein family. For example if when we take out the protein sequences from the Arabidopsis genome then we have to confirm through domain analysis that either that the respective domain that HMA domain we are working on the HMA protein family so HMA domain is present in that sequences or not if the HMA protein domain was present in that sequences then we have to take that uh, sequences as a curie protein if the domain sequences was not present then we have discard this so how we can do all this process let's start so open the Google, write the NCBI and open this NCBI. And first you have to know that how many HMA proteins are your uh, gene family that on which you are working that the how many members of that family present in the Arabidopsis or your model organism. So for that we have to find out some uh, paper like uh, go to PubMed and write uh, genome wide analysis of uh, HMA protein family in Arabidopsis. Enter. So here are different crops in which the HMA protein family have been characterized so we will take this first one here also mentioned that Arabidopsis genome so maybe Arabidopsis family also member also present in that uh, they have mentioned so uh, this is the paper so you can open and then 
कंट्रोल एफ एंड राइट थाना सो हेयर यू कैन स्टडी दैट वेयर हाउ मेनी जीन्स आर प्रेजेंट करंटली द नंबर फाइट आर एट इन सो देर आर एट मेम्बर्स इन एराबिडॉपसिस थलियाना दैट एच एम ए जीन्स एच एम ए जीन्स प्रेजेंट इन एराबिडॉपसिस थलियाना वॉज एट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दीज एट एच एम ए जीन्स फ्राम एराबिडॉपसिस सो इन दिस वे यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट दैट हाउ मेनी जीन्स of your protein family present in uh, arabidopsis thaliana if you are taking the arabidopsis thaliana protein sequences as a curry protein or you can also take any other protein sequences that were functionally characterized so we know that eight genes so we have to find out the sequences of these eight proteins so open and then go to the protein Select protein and write HMA one in Arabidopsis thaliana. So in this way, you have you will find out the all the sequences. That this one HMA one Arabidopsis thaliana. Click on faster. and this is the protein sequences so copy and open any txt file and then greater than athma1 enter and paste the sequence then greater than athma2 enter now we find the hma2 here we write hma2 and enter then this is hma2 and faster copy and Yes. So in this way, you have to find out all the eight Arabidopsis HMA two protein family a protein sequences are your respective are studied protein family. So I have already extracted these sequences. Sometimes it happens that you can't find the sequence of your studied genes in the NCBI. Then the better way is that. you have to go to the reference paper of that uh, gene and then from that reference paper you can find out any id of gene like ncbi id or transcript id any id it was given in that paper so you can take out that id and then put into the ncbi and then you can find out that gene's uh, protein sequence now we have to confirm that whether these protein sequences have the hma domain or not so simply control a copy then go to google write genome jp open this website then click on here motif there here is a motif so click on motif then paste your sequences and here select the pfam that it will give the motif on the basis of pfam and then click on compute now it gives the results so here you see that this gene have hma domain it also have hma domain this one have hma domain this one have hma domain this one also have a hma domain this one also have a hma domain so our rabdopsis thaliana hma genes have the hma domain so we can use these 
protein sequences as a query protein to find out the HMA protein sequences from our studied crop that is the maize. So in this way you can also find out the curie protein from Arabidopsis or any other your model organism or from the characterized gene. If you feel difficulty to find out the curie protein sequence through this method that I have told you in from NCBI then the other method is that uh, as I have already told you that in the paper in which that gene was mentioned go to that reference and then in that paper you can find out the transcript ID of that gene or the NCBI ID of that gene or any other ID that must be given in that paper or the sequence of that gene given in that paper. So you can take out that IDs and then uh, put into the NCBI and then you can find out that sequence. So this is all about how we can take out the Curie proteins and then confirmation of the curie protein. So in the next lecture, we can use these prote curie proteins to find out the HMA protein family from maize. Hopefully it will help you. If you have any curie, please comment. Don't forget to like. Thank you.